but I haven't heard any other YouTuber talk about this. You will be climbing harder sooner if you do this properly. It's exactly how you break through plateaus and progress quicker. If you wanna see progress with this training method, there are two things you have to keep in mind. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ben Mills and I'm a competition climber on the road to going pro. On this journey, I'm gonna be sharing my insights and everything that I learned, so hopefully you get value out of it. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be talking specifically about a training method. And this training method, like I would consider like almost a cheat code, bro. You will be climbing harder sooner if you do this properly. But I haven't heard any other YouTuber talk about this. And I wanna make it clear, there is a lot of amazing climbing content out there. And I'm not bashing on anyone's training advice or training methods. So this training method is called makeup moves. And before you click off or comment, Ben with the I wanna see you. If you wanna see progress with this training method, there are two things you have to keep in mind. So let me explain. Let's say you go to a bouldering gym and you wanna do a dyno, but there are no dynos set on the wall. Instead of leaving all bummed, you can just make one up. So you take a scan at the wall and you find a start hold and a hole to jump to. This is a great first step into making up moves. But if you wanna take it even further, you should be exposing yourself to new moves and specifically moves that make you feel uncomfortable. That doesn't mean they need to be dangerous, even though they might be. I'm talking specifically about your weaknesses. We know all climbers have strengths and weaknesses, but what happens to a lot of climbers is they're only exposed to the styles of climbing they see at their local gym or wherever they most commonly climb at. And I experienced this firsthand when I wanted to train dynamic comp style moves. My local gym would set very commercial and simple and it worked for, you know, the members that were there, but it wasn't tailored to what I needed. My friends and I wanted to progress and get on those kinds of moves. So using the holds on the wall, we just made them up. We made up paddle dinos, knee bars. We did no hands on the slabs and weird balancing moves. Anything and everything that the setters would not normally set, we did. And by doing this, we got super creative with it over time and we started understanding climbing movement even better. I became a lot better at dynamic comp style moves and I was less good at crimpy climbs. So then I began to make up moves on crimps. And that's kind of the power of this, right? You can make up moves that target your weaknesses. And in case you didn't know, targeting your weaknesses in climbing is exactly how you break through plateaus and progress quicker. So at this point you might understand, okay, I'm gonna go to my gym, I'm gonna make up some moves, focus on my weaknesses, is that really it? No, that is not all it. If you wanna take it to the next level, you have to do this session with climbers that are better than you or at your climbing level. Naturally, when you climb with these people, you're gonna pick up on how they climb. And you might find while you're climbing with them that one of their strengths could be one of your weaknesses. So if you guys play add-on or make up moves together and they make a move on a sloper, you can learn and ask them questions about it. It's the same reason why being on a sports team can be so impactful. By getting new ideas and different climbing styles together, you'll be racking up experience and putting more tools in your toolkit. I hope you like the toolkit analogy. <laughs> that was a little cringe, but the last thing I wanna say is these moves should be hard. That doesn't mean you need to be exerting a lot of strength and power. That's only one way it can be hard. Another way it can be difficult is the coordination aspect of the climb or the balancey aspect of a slab climb. If you only climb with stuff that's easy for you, then you're just adding volume to your session. And that's not the goal here. The goal here is to be sending harder, sooner. So now that you know about this training method that I would consider a cheat code for climbing, feel free to try it out and let me know how it goes in the comments. Also, if you like this video, I want you to know this is my first post and I'm gonna have a lot more bangers coming out, bro. So you better subscribe, okay? Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great day and much love.